I like how the media just protects certain guys, bro. That's why uh, I'm not finna uh, have any friends out here, bro, when it comes to this stuff. Because I see people playing sides. And it's a lot of information I got today that's very, very uh, one-sided, biased, disgusting. But uh, one thing I'm going to start on, though, I don't want to hear about Cullen Smith no more, bro. Ever in my life. Ever in my life. Um, Y'all let him get away with all these things about Bitter B being a cheater and failing a drug test. Now, let me ask y'all a question. Tyson Fury actually has failed drug tests before and had been suspended. But when Wilder says something about it, it's impossible to believe. But so this UK bias is going on. But when um, but when uh Eddie Hearn and Carlos Smith and uh Liam Smith and all these guys talking about it, it's dodgy. I don't I don't care what nobody says. No, uh, it's what I believe. Okay, what I believe is your brother needs to retire. If Deontay Wilder needs to retire, your brother needs to retire. He never knocked nobody out like Wilder has. He never knocked nobody out like Wilder has. He hasn't knocked out com top competition. Last time I checked, Wilder knocked down. Last time I checked, Wilder knocked down Fury. He hasn't knocked down top competition like uh Wilder has. He needs to retire. I just heard people saying Wilder need to retire. He need to retire. He had excuses going in the fight, out the fight, after the fight. The media don't say nothing. And then you got guys like, yeah, Wilder need to retire. Nah, Cullen Smith need to retire. It's about that time. And I'm going to start going down the line on all those boxers over there because y'all starting to get a pass. Dillian White needs to retire. Chisora, I think he needs to retire. And also, uh, uh, Cullen Smith needs to retire. It's about that time. Better be. Now, now better be. You got more testosterone and all the other stuff. Bro, your brother needs to get in the weight room, bro. At the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, your brother doesn't have any muscles on him. He needs to get in the weight room. If you can't keep uh, muscles on him because he cutting so much weight, hey. Ain't nobody tell him to try to be a weight bully. It is what it is. But I'm hearing all these complaints about uh, better be test and. Y'all let this dude get whooped. Carlos Smith got whooped worse than uh at least Andre and uh Wilder at least tried to win around. Like he went out there surviving. But you'll see the media, they'll be like, oh, American got beat. Let's throw him under the bus. He needs to retire. But these guys who can't even get a knockout against top competition. They can't even get a knockdown, can't get a clean punch on them. He went out there and survived, and we're going to pat him on the back. No, sir. He needs to retire. It's over with. He got his paydays. He fought Canelo and Bitter Beef. He was never somebody that we considered as um, being a future top pound-for-pound pound guy. Why is he in the way? There's too many guys like that, like him in the way. He didn't deserve no shot. Oh, yeah, he did because he was over. Man, I'm not trying to hear that. He's not top competition. See, we be giving guys a little too many passes. And we want to talk about other legends, and then when these little these squares, we want to give uh, we want to give passes to. That's not gonna happen, bro. That's not gonna happen. The UK bias is just too too much, bro. You love your fighters that much, that's cool, bro. But when he gets tra uh, when he gets bashed and battered and beat down and destroyed, I want to hear the same thing. I want to hear the same energy. I want to hear the same thing. Then he talking about bitter beef. He a cheater now. Now we, this dude almost 40 years old. He done went through his whole career. Now he get to call him Smith, and now we get to throw dirt on his name. Man, I'm telling you, these guys, bro, these guys, he already taking a drug test. We got to beg guys like Can Canelo and Manny Pacquiao to take a drug test. But when it comes to better be, oh, yeah, he, uh, he had a shady drug test result. Now, now, dude, now boxers are doctors now. Now promoters is doctors. What's worse? Why the saying Tyson Fury has some in his glove? Which later on other boxes have said the same thing. I'll get into that later on though. But or Eddie Hearn and Cullen Smith saying that Bitter is uh some about his uh Vada test before he uh about to fight him. What's worse? Before he about to fight him. Not after. Before he about to fight him. Before he about to fight him. Not after. What's worse? Is cut is Colin Smith or Eddie Hearn big enough? In
Is Cullen Smith or Eddie Hearn big enough in the sport to actually disrespect Brittany V? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Because it seems like when, with certain guys, they get a pass when it, when they start bringing up guys' names. And um, and then when guys get thrashed and destroyed in the ring, we kind of like turn our heads. We acting like Bitter V was in there with a ghost. Color Smith, he, he was. Y'all see how, and I hate to say this, but y'all see how trashy, uh, how trashy, uh, Color Smith was in the fight? They acting like he wasn't even in the fight. They don't even mention him. They're like, yeah, Bitter V, he was in there. Da, 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 da. What about the other guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Oh, he's a bum then. I hate to be disrespectful, but I don't. He's a bum then. Let's just keep it real. If we ain't thinking about him at all and he was just in the ring, he's a bum. That's it. We treat him like a bum because from what I'm saying, I'm trying to see, like, okay, what was he thinking of after the fight and... But now I'm I'm hearing guys talking about going 12 rounds with Joseph Parker. You're supposed to retire after that. So what you think getting destroyed by Vitterby, what that mean? And you ain't never been at that level. What that mean? You ain't going around the world. Oh, I fought Canelo. Bro, Canelo came up, bro. I fought the best in the world. Canelo came up, bro. Like, at the end of the day, you've been bigger than everybody you've been in the ring with. They just want to give passes to certain guys. I'm not I'm not here for all that, man. People know what's up, bro. That man is not, he's not on that level. But we don't want to keep the same energy, though. And y'all media over there in the UK is so biased, man. I'm telling you. The stuff I seen today, I'm going in. Y'all better hold y'all horses. I'm going in on this one. It's too biased now. It's too biased. You got these dudes wasting my time, getting destroyed. And then we sitting up here talking about other people who go 12 rounds. They need to retire. Nah. I'll tell you who needs to retire. I'm going to tell you who needs to retire. Because I see now, in the sport of boxing, we want to act like last week ain't happened. And people might say, oh, you being too hard. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because y'all do everybody else like this. No, I'm not. That's the standard now. Don't get quiet. Don't don't get loud when I start speaking. No, nah, that's the standard. Dude talking about better be a cheater and all this other stuff. Uh, allegedly. Man, come on, man. Why even bring that up? Like, why is he even good enough to even act like? And then, did y'all look, did, did Bitter V look like a guy who was on some kind of power pack? Did he did he look like he had some kind of power advantage? Carlos Smith just, he ain't in the weight room, bro. Just not a big guy. These dudes running around, got brothers around here. Man, on, man, this is, they get a lot of passes over there, bro. They get a whole lot of passes. I'm seeing now. They can say whatever they want. Bit of Vada Test, Dodgy. Man, man, Liam Smith don't sit back, bro. All these guys, he know that over there failed test. Like, why you ain't say that about kind of been? But you were. You ain't said that about Conor Ben or Tyson Fury, but you worried about sitting around here worried about uh, Color Smith. Yeah, come on. I'm mean, worried about Bitter V. Bro, that's over with. I'm not paying attention to none of y'all. Y'all need to, y'all need to retire, bro. Is it? Y'all need, y'all not doing enough in the sport to be talking like that at all. It's time to retire. Time to hit the bricks. These dudes talking crazy now. Oh, he had a. Uh, uh, atypical test. That's so. That's a fail. That's a fail test. Okay. Then it's about testosterone. Testosterone. Okay. I'm telling you, dudes ain't really doctors, man. They trying to go through files. Like, what about the Canelo fight, though? And my thing is this right here. 
Canelo was already uh failing the drug test before you got in the uh, ring with him, and you still got in there. So that kills your whole conversation. That's all. That's the end of my video right there. Y'all hot in the ring with Canelo after he failed the drug test. So to be honest with you, you're just looking for a reason to kind of skateboard, scapegoat while you got destroyed like that. He ain't win half a round, bro. Well, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.